So a cool thing about these Harbor Freight multi-purpose sprayers is that it has a locking mechanism. Press down here and it's locked. So you could go ahead and do your thing when you're in the shower. I'm able to kind of get in there and clean that pit. It's day number four on the road. I should probably shower before meeting with a YouTube channel partner. Treks to USA in Tucson, Arizona. More about the Treks to White Slides and future products in an upcoming episode. This whole time I was on the road, so I didn't really have access to an easy shower. I led a group through these arches in Calico, California, hiked through a subterranean mineshaft, nearly burned myself while trying to give you all a camp pack that didn't work, slept like a baby, had some breakfast, then made our way over to a really nice campground in the Mojave National Preserve, camped with my friend Jay, Angie, and their children. By the way, stars were very beautiful that night, but it was very windy. We did a little hike that morning and found a rock that looked like a peace sign. We all split ways and I was just by myself on a lonely highway to Tucson, Arizona. I decided to camp out an hour northwest of Tucson. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I just saw a sign that says, uh, warning, smuggling and illegal operation is in this area. Great. Um, well, it's an adventure, right? Yeah, hopefully everything's fine. Um, I'll, I'll be careful. I'm actually gonna go grab my firearm right now. I'll be right back. <laughs> So I'm losing daylight here. Uh, number one thing I need to do is set a camp. What the heck was that? Did it flash in the distance? I think that was a light here. So I went to bed on night number four. A little nervous that I'm in an area that might not be totally safe and I'm by myself. That's one of the main reasons why I didn't shower on night number four and I waited until the morning after. I've been camping in my adult life since 2014, so that's nine years of refining my camp shower setup. I've tried many things, simple options, expensive options, and now I want to share with you something that is quick to set up, cost effective, and this is actually going to be a warm shower, like the shower that you take at home. So let's get into it. The first thing to show you is the instant pop-up tent. This is by Leader Accessories. I like this one because it's four feet wide, four feet deep, and seven foot tall. I'm six foot, so I need a tent that's kind of bigger. I'm also like 280 pounds. I also use this pop-up privacy tent for the bathroom, and I can't tell you how many times it has saved me from embarrassment. I've had a pullover on the side of the road and just go. You know, when your stomach is upset, you gotta go. By the way, this gear I'm showing you for the shower is not sponsored. I bought all this stuff with my own money. This tent's main weakness is gonna be that it's really flimsy and susceptible to wind. So here is a way to secure it, and this is very, very effective. I use these magnets that I got from Home Depot. I can't pronounce it, but it's a neobellum, whatever, you, whatever it's called. These are rated for 65 pounds, and I did a little modification. I drilled into it. Uh, the metal right here, the cover, is about 1 8 inch. So it's actually pretty darn thick. Um, even though the holes are kind of drilled in real close together, it's going to hold. And so what I do is I just put these magnets on the side of my car. You know, the, the sheet metal is steel, so it's magnetic. And yeah, I just place these here and that tent even in strong winds isn't going to move that much. My rear mounted spare tire has a wheel well and I store gear inside this wheel well. I'm pulling out this emergency mylar tire. It's real thick. It's by this company called Soul. 
SOL, which stands for Survive Outdoors Longer. I mean, it could mean something else if you're in a really bad situation. But anyways, you can buy these at REI or Amazon, and it's just a really good place to, to step on, uh, but also doubles as other things too, right? It's a survival blanket. Now I'm gonna place something down to keep my feet clean and also dry after the shower. So I'm placing a blanket, but you could probably think of something else like, I don't know, another tarp that's not wet. And then I'm placing a chair here so that I could uh, put my towel, my, my change of clothes and other things that I could just reach out of the shower tent and grab. Now I'm going to grab my jet ball so that I could heat up some water and bring it to a boil. I use the jet ball with a pan and pot adapter for cooking. It also does a great job at heating up water and that's what I'm going to use it for just because it's so efficient and fast. Those isobutane containers last so long because this is such an efficient system. The next thing you'll need for this shower setup is a Harbor Freight half gallon multi-purpose sprayer. I've tried purchasing the $20 sprayers off of Amazon and they're just not of this quality. I've been using this for two years and it still is holding up. I don't lose any pressure. I could pressurize it, drive up to the mountains, it won't blow up. It's awesome, absolutely awesome. And the best thing about it is that it's only five dollars. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit. This takes two minutes to get this thing to a boil to the point where it's spewing out hot water. Careful not to burn yourself or just don't fill up the cup as high. Next, let's pour this hot water into the Harbor Freight multi-purpose sprayer. This thing is made of a very thick plastic, so it's able to withstand the heat. And uh, it also won't be too hot in your hands either. Now I'll fill up the rest with room temperature water. The combination will be a perfect warmth. Actually, it will be borderline hot. The pressure out of this $5 sprayer is strong. It's so strong that it just blasts soap, grime, all of that just comes off. So you end up using less water. So I timed it. It took me 10 minutes to take the shower. The tent does block a little bit of wind chill. So even though it was a little windy, it wasn't making me cold. It was actually quite warm in there. It, the tent traps heat. There's a window on the ceiling to open up. So I was able to you know, throw my clothes out or hang a towel. The shower's all done and I'm feeling super clean. I'm ready to meet with Traxta USA. So a cool thing about these Harbor Freight multi-purpose sprayers is that it has a locking mechanism. Uh, so you just press down here and it's locked. So you could go ahead and do your thing when you're in the shower. Um, so cleaning the armpits, there's a special technique that I use I, if I'm cleaning this armpit, I grab it, grab the pistol grip right there, and then this is my armpit. I'm able to kind of get in there, clean that pit, and um, for the other, you just do that. Now it's time to pack up. We're going to do this ASMR style. So just sit back, relax, and watch me pack up. Let's stick around for a little bit and we're gonna go over the bathroom setup. Because this information is so useful, 
make sure to share with friends and family. Hit the like button and leave a comment. Also, if you have any questions, please ask. This is going to help this video reach more people. Alright, so the thing powering my adventures, this is going to be really important, is my EcoFlow Delta 2 Max power station. When I go on a trip, it's placed right there to prevent, uh, you know, to kind of mitigate the uh, possibility of a smash and grab. I lock it up. So anyways, EcoFlow is going to be having a Black Friday sale. Here's the details. I need to actually look at this. I actually need to look at this phone so I could find out the details, but you could expect really big savings. I'm not gonna lie, I, uh, on this four night trip, I have been microwaving some food and I, some people might not agree with it. I had one person comment when I started microwaving food, like, I thought this was an overlanding channel. But here you are microwave, microwaving food. And I'm like, yeah, uh, more overlanding, less cooking. <laughs> I, I really have to hit the road. Um, I was supposed to be at Trex at nine o'clock. It's eight, like 8.15 right now. So I'll be a little late. I need to show you my toilet setup because that's pretty important. A toilet will be the reason why someone would be uh, afraid of getting outdoors, remote camping. It's like, where do you take a poop? Where do you poop? Where do you pee? Where's the running water? So let me show you all. Here is my toilet seat. So I know you can dig a hole, uh, but what I typically do, just because I don't like to make a mess of camp, I try to go low impact as possible. I get some trash bags. These are just like the 13 gallon kitchen trash bags. And they fit perfectly on this toilet seat. that the seat comes down take care of your business and then I have a bag here with toilet paper uh, baby wipes a, a shovel in case I need to use a shovel um, here you'll see a bunch of rocks on the floor this isn't where you're gonna be able to dig in so that's why I always carry these trash bags. So let's say you poop. We'll pretend this water is poop. Down drain poop. So 
you get it from the bottom right here. Make sure to get all the air out. Tie it up. And then just like a just like those wag bags that the hikers use, double double tie it. Okay. There's our pretend poop. And then get a freezer bag. Make sure you get the ones that uh, zip up like this. Don't use those freezer bags. They don't create a good seal. So I got a whole bunch of these from Costco, Ziploc brand. Throw it in here. Get all the air out. I mean, you don't need to, but you wanna make this compact because this pack of poop or pack of pretend poop is gonna go in the trash. So here's my trash pack. This is by Kelty. Kelty makes good stuff and this doesn't seem to be fading at all. This is gonna last you years. So highly recommend it. Uh, it's all synthetic. This does look like canvas, but it's it's synthetic. Okay. So pack of poop is gonna go here. And is that gonna stink up? Not enough for you to notice if it's outside with ventilation. If you put that pack of poop in your car, yeah, it's totally gonna stink up. So um, that's why it's a good idea to have some kind of exterior trash solution. You beginner adventurers or even experienced adventurers that, you know, it's always good to kind of see new things and see how other people are doing things. This isn't the one all be all type of camp setup. This is just my setup that I like, and works for me. Uh, it's taken me many years to kind of come up with this kind of this kind of system. So uh, one thing I didn't really talk about was is the rooftop tent, but I have other videos about that rooftop tent. So just, you know, search J-O-N-D-Z rooftop tent and you'll find info. Uh, I ran two styles. I, I definitely like this, this clamshell with a back out extension. I like this one better. I'm not sponsored by the, the shower tent, the toilet seat, but I will have Amazon li links below in the video description. So just know that, uh, you know, I, I benefit a little bit from that. I make a small commission, but it's at no extra cost to you. And Give me Amazon credits, I'll buy more gear and test it out for you. You're able to see how useful this dirt complex trail sway was. It carries a lot of gear out of the table. I can stuff things into the tire wall right there. Uh, I can attach magnetic things to this because it's made of steel. Um, it's actually made of Kerbali tubing, which uh, is part of part of steel alloy. Get out of here. All right, so one thing to check out right there. Um, overnight, I used about 25%. Uh, I did close my laptop, so that put it in the sleep state, so it didn't drain as much. But yeah, I, I said I highly recommend it, uh, especially if you don't have a good way to recharge. I have a great way to recharge. I'm, I'm pulling in 433 watts and that means that I'm gonna recharge my power station in like just over four hours, right? Looks like I wasn't the only one that uh, had the idea of camping out here. Uh, so far I've seen two RVs and then this uh, truck camper. 